And Anurag, we'll, let's go ahead and unmute and make sure that we can see the presenter view of the screen. Yeah. All good. Okay, it's good now. It's okay. We can still see the the slides on the left, but if that's what you intend, we're good to go. Uh, yes, sir. Hi, this is Anurag. So I'll present like research simplify. So it is a, like a AI chatbot which assists for understanding of like research papers. So like uh, like many students and professionals wanted to get into research and they like find it like difficulty. So if we like this chatbot is helps to like uh, explain the like the concepts and all and also like summarize the like the research papers and all. And also like recently I applied for PhD programs. So there are like uh, many professors are there. So I don't know like uh, like where I should like apply and all and which professors I should like approach. So if we have like this like chatbot, we can like summarize it and we can like approach the professors so that we can get the admissions and all. So let's get deep, dive into it. So what it does is that it retrieves like uh, relevant research papers. Then it asks the users like particular questions. Then we have to input the questions, like the answers. Then it provides the explanations of the questions and also give us like similar uh, research papers. And uh, for these purposes, we have used LangChain framework and OpenAI API and some other libraries like DuckDuckGo for like, we are like building like agent reg. So we have like used like the reg that, that go and and like other services. And this is the project workflow. First, we have to give the user input, then the user search the query, and we are using archive loader. So it loads 10 research papers, like, like according to the user input. Then it do all the processing and all character text splitting. We are storing it in Chroma DB. Then there is a like a AI chatbot which asks the user, like like there are some questions are there which asks the user about it. Then we have to give the like the requirements and all. Then it goes to the like the agentic reg that like to get the answers. So there are like DuckDuckGo wrapper, rep tool, and PubMed API. So like some of this. And then it gives us the answers and also gives us like similar like the research papers, like who's the, like the students who read. And, and for data retrieval, we have you like use archive loader and uh, character text splitter we have used and so that there is like efficient processing of the data. And we have used vector, data, vector database so I have used Chroma DB and also I have used like OpenAI embedding to embed it and manage them with like Chroma. And we have also used like, uh, so like similarity search to like retrieve the data. And tool sensors. So for the tool sensors, we have used DuckDuckGo, like the APIs and the React tool and PubMed APIs. And we and we are using like web search to search the web also, like about the answers. So it gives us the recommendations of like similar papers and also like a uh, future paper which we should like uh, read uh, according to the user input. And I would like to go into the like the code once. So here we are like importing like uh, entering the topic. Then it uh, loads them like the maximum ten papers. Then we are doing the embedding and all. Then we are creating an assistant uh, to ask the question. So these are some of the questions the assistant will ask. And we have to input the like the answers. And this is the React tool according to the uh, retrieve papers. So there are like 10 retrieve papers. So it is building a React tool. 
And we are building an SNT Greg here so that it gives us the answers. Like it tries like multiple tools, then it gives us the best answer. So there is a like error checking and all, try to check if if it does not have the answer, it would like, I apologize, I encountered an error. And also it gives us like similar papers, recommending similar papers uh, according to the user's input. Uh, based on the user's requirement and the retry papers, recommend three similar, like the papers. And also I would like to like demo the app in Chainlink. So it asks us like, welcome to the research paper QA chat book. So you have to enter the domain or topic. So let's say, like machine learning in AI. So then it asks about the query you have to search. So we are entering the query. So after entering the query, uh, it is uploading the 10 research, like the similar patterns, like the research papers. Like it would take some time, yeah. So what, uh, like please uh, provide your specific questions or requirement about the topic. So, Let's say the same questions. So what is the level of understanding of this topic? Are you related? Uh, so uh, let's say compare LoRa and QLoRa. So it like now it like suggests for answer. Sometimes it gives the answer right. The precision is not, not that good, like sometimes. So here you can see uh, it is doing the work. Uh the Azentic Ragonal. So it is giving like, uh, thank you for your sharing that you are novice in understanding LoRa fine tuning. We can focus on explaining LoRa, uh, like low rank adaptations, LoRa and comparing it with QLoRa. So, and it is like giving us the answers about it. And also like recommended the uh, papers, uh, uh, like these are the papers for like further like understanding the topic and all. And, like, like we can like search it again or like exit it. Oh uh, yes, like uh, I think uh, there are some like precision issues with that. Sometimes it gives us the right answer, but this time it's like giving us the right answers. So I think in further, like in further, we have to like build a system where it gives us the right answers more. And, and we also, we can use like more data sets and all. Thank you. Yeah.